Hi, I'm Michael Wargo, a team pilot with Twisted Hobbies, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about foamies in general. Uh, since the release of the Wargo Yak, I've been focusing on transitioning into balsa planes, but as of late, I've been really having an, a, a, a tremendous amount of fun with the Super Lights. And I want to explain to you how big a role these planes actually have had in my learning to fly uh, 3D and in any pilot's uh, trek into learning to fly 3D. These planes are not only extremely light, this is the MXSC by Twisted Hobbies. This is the new uh, crack laser, it's the uh, super light version. Both of these fly insanely well and they do something that the other foamies, uh, the heavier ones, just can't. They play a pivotal role in how you learn to fly 3D. Uh, these planes fly extra light. I mean they fly super light. They're very, very floaty. They're unbelievably agile, uh, especially this one. Uh, Cody did a an, an nearly miraculous job with this thing. This is probably the best flying foamy I've ever flown. But any of the Twisted Hobby planes, um, this particular one is a little bit heavier than this. But again, very agile, can do just about anything that you'll see a little bit in the video I'm going to uh, follow this with. But these foamies are an absolutely integral part of learning to fly 3D. As I said, they fly very light. They're so docile that knife edge flight and low rolling harriers and things like that become very easy. They don't fly like a balsa plane, but they're an amazing trainer. The first thing I want you to notice is how completely floaty and docile it is. Look how easily and nicely it rolls and, and, uh, and just floats. It seems to defy gravity. Again, this is the, uh, the super light version, so this is an extremely light aircraft. But the thing is, this thing will turn completely on a dime and stop on a dime. And again, if you can see just how light this thing is and just how nice and floaty it is. And this is a great aerobatic aircraft to, to, to start to learn to do some of these tricks. And of course, if they hit the ground, they don't really hurt anything. Most of the time, you can just pick it up and throw it back up again, especially uh, if you were low enough to the ground to begin with. They have plenty of power. Now, what I love about this one is this insane snap and roll rate. It's just crazy agile. I mean, you could just roll and flip inside yourself. And again, it's such, it's so controllable. You know, the thing is, um, knife edge flight, things like that. It just wants to stay up. It's got, and so straight. 